Hello everyone, uh, my name is Trevor Hoffler, I'm the CTO here at Wombat Security Technologies and today I'm going to be talking to you about ransomware. Um, ransomware is something that you may have heard something about, it's become very popular, there's been a lot of reports about it in the news lately. And so I'm going to tell you a couple quick pointers on what it is, how to avoid it, and what to do if you find yourself infected by malware. Um, so ransomware is a new type of attack, um, it, it's typically delivered via email. Um, in, a file, in a file attachment, a malicious URL, so something that you receive in your email. And what happens is, is if you accidentally open up the file, you click on the, the malicious link, uh, your computer becomes encrypted. And it's not your whole computer. The, the malware or the, this, this harmful software, when it infects your computer, it goes after your most important files, your pictures, your music, your documents, you know, your accounting files, things that you probably wouldn't want to have inaccessible to you. When it finds those files, it, it encrypts it with very strong cryptography that is impossible to unlock. And then a message pops up and it says that you have to send the attacker, uh, they're typically located overseas, a large sum of money. This could be hundreds of dollars, you know, north of a thousand dollars. Um, and it can be very disruptive to, to your life. Uh, so not only is it the cash out of pocket, but it's also the distraction of having to go out and figuring out how do I pay these people to get my files back. Um, and if you get infected in a, in a work environment, it could potentially spread to the whole network. And so not only would it be your laptop that's like, you know, completely messed up, but it could spread to the rest of the network and encrypt all the files for the whole company. And so what I would tell you in terms of how do I avoid this is, uh, like I said, it's typically delivered via email. So if a file comes in and or if an email arrives in your inbox and something just seems off, if, if you don't recognize the sender, if the wording inside of the email is just a little bit weird, if there's a sense of like urgency to it, basically if just something just doesn't feel quite right, slow down for just two seconds, you know, maybe call the sender if, if you kind of recognize who it is but it just seems weird, or pick up the phone, call, call help desk, have another colleague look at it, but slow down and don't take that immediate action on it. So if you're in a situation where maybe you've gone one step too far and you've accidentally opened up the attachment that you probably shouldn't have or you've clicked on a link and you're starting to notice that the extensions on, your, on all of your files are starting to change and you can't open things up and your machine's really slow and something's definitely really wrong, um, what I would recommend to any user is that if you're on a workstation, pull the power cord out of the back of the computer. Um, you know, it used to be that's, that's not what we typically told users. But the problem is, is that if you're on a modern, fast computer, chances are that crypto locker or that or that ransomware is going to go through your files very quickly. Um, if you're on a laptop, pulling the power cord obviously won't shut the machine off. You actually have to push down on the power button and press and hold it until the whole thing turns off. And again, the reason is, is that will at least isolate it to your machine and hopefully stop some of your files from being encrypted. The other thing is, if you're attached to any type of like network or other backup or your you know work network, you don't want the ransomware spreading going across your entire network encrypting you know everyone's computers and all of your files. Um, and then the other thing is, make sure that that you tell somebody. Make sure that you call help desk. Make sure that you talk to security or or somebody that's responsible for IT there, um, because what you don't want to do is just not tell someone. The responders need to be able to get to your machine and figure out, you know, the depth of the of the infection. They also need to put up rules on the firewall or to block other messages from getting in, so your colleagues also aren't infected. Um, so definitely say something. So hopefully we've given you some good tools and some good pointers to watch out for this. Hopefully you understand a little bit more about how our ransomware works. Uh, we're going to be doing more of these, so look for us in the future, and I appreciate you uh, listening. Thanks so much.